Hello there, welcome to the Desperate Actor YouTube channel. It's me, Steve Des from DesperateActor.com. And today we're going to be talking about the Walmart commercial, The Audition. So at this point, it's been maybe, I don't know, month, month and a half, two months from my big to Mundo McGraw-Hill uh, series that I was in. And um, I was, you know, sporadically auditioned to a bunch of different things like you you do in the grind and in the start, especially of your career. And uh, all of a sudden, this uh, commercial came about and they were looking specifically for bilingual people, uh, people that can speak both English and Spanish because they were doing commercials in both English and Spanish. So uh, I, I vaguely remember these commercials, but uh, I also got uh, to audition for these commercials by myself. I didn't get sent by an agent or anything like that. I literally self-submitted myself through these different casting websites that I talk about in the Desperate Actor program. I have talked here as well, like cast networks and things like that, cast frontier. Um, so one of those, I self-submitted myself for it and I got called, I got picked, you know, my picture was good, my resume was okay, my improv background was good for them. And I got called to go and actually audition for it. And I remember I showed up, you know, in my, essentially I, I showed up in my, <laughs> outfit of playing the teacher uh the spanish teacher and to wonder if you've been following the series i was talking about how in the callback i went to an audition and i i auditioned for a college student and in my callback i got called back to be the spanish teacher so i had to like look older so i kind of did almost the same thing for this for this audition i showed up in the outfit, the full outfit of uh, the teacher that I had, the signature, which was like a pink button up, uh, like black or gray slacks, and then like a black uh, vest on it. Uh, and did I show up with my, I don't think I showed up with my actual glasses and stuff. And I had a little bit of facial hair, just a tiny bit of facial hair at that time. Uh, not quite like what I had, right now which is a tiny bit and um i went there and i auditioned i remember it was in this very high rise building uh in the west side of town so very near santa monica beach uh i remember parking is was really tough in that area and the traffic oh my god insane in that area so if you follow what I preach in the Desperate Actor program and here in the Desperate Actor YouTube channel, uh, always, always, always show up as early as you can because there's things you can't predict. And that day, there was so much traffic. It was tough to find parking. And I was literally in the nick of time to my callback. Thankfully, I still made it inside the building with at least 12 minutes to spare from my actual call time to be early. Um, and uh, I went there and, you know, I did my thing. It was just uh, me, the session runner, as I can't remember. And uh, yeah, they had, uh, they, the good thing about these type of commercials, especially when they're like very dialogue heavy, because this one was one that was very dialogue heavy. Because in particular, I was portraying a uh, Walmart clerk that was selling cell phones. And I was giving information about the cell phones, uh, the plans, and a lot of little details when it comes to those things. So I was pretty off book. So I was already pretty rehearsed and memorized and like always professional, ready to go. But at the same time, what I really enjoyed about this particular audition was the fact that they had like this whiteboard that actually had the lines. So if for some reason you were to like lose your footing or 
just lose one word that you're missing or something, you can always like cheat a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Don't make it like look super obvious, but just a tiny bit. You look at it and you re uh, like retake essentially where you were you were actually talking. And and one technique that I can give you guys is that especially when it seems like that that there's like back and forth and that happens to be there because remember it's not like a must that that's going to happen there's going to be places there's going to be auditions that they might not have that they might not have anything uh, or you can have your script in your hand it just depends what type of audition you're in but in this particular that was a commercial and it was very dialogue heavy uh they did have a whiteboard with the actual lines and stuff for you to reference and I really appreciate it because during those times that you're talking, uh, especially when you're in listening mode, that you're not talking, you're just receiving information. Most of the time, what they want to see is your facial expression during those moments, how you take in information. Uh, but during those times are some of the most pivotal, pivotal times for you to literally take a quick glance at the board or where the lines are at just so you are ready to go, you know, for when your next line comes. So during those times, that's when I would look a little bit, I would cheat a little bit, and then I would like say my lines, you know? And the more you master this kind of technique, the easier your journey is going to be. Because remember, like, you only need those lines for your audition, if you get the callback for your callback, and then when you're on set and when you actually book the job. But during your life, your regular life, you don't need to be memorizing these things. You don't need to um, carry, you know, the information constantly in your head. Uh, one thing that was a big mistake that I made in the past was that I will focus so hardcore on auditions that sometimes I will overwork my dialogue or overwork my monologues. And that's something you guys need to learn to not over rehearse because sometimes that could actually be working against you than actually for you. So make sure you dedicate a proper amount of time for you to memorize things, but also have breaks in between, long breaks in between, and make sure you have a life and live and do a little bit of other things and then retake it again and do things like that. So make sure you find your balance when auditioning and when practicing and rehearsing long lines, whether it's monologues or dialogues, because it will help you a lot uh, in the future and after I was done auditioning a few days passed and guess what happened I'm gonna tell you next time here in story time uh, so make sure you subscribe so you are in tune when we drop the next video next week don't forget to like the video share with a friend or two that might need it more than you do and leave in the comments below have you auditioned for a Walmart commercial before any retail partner before Leave it in the comments below because I would really like to know. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.